Hello, and welcome to another tutorial with Polka Art Studio. Today we will create a very cute folding folio featuring Alice in Wonderland. We hope you will enjoy it, and if you want to have fun creating this project, head over to our Etsy store, where you can find this kit in our new releases section. The link is in our description box. For free projects and digital supplies, visit our website using the link in the description. This kit was printed onto 180 GSM or 48 pound matte photo paper. Some of the papers were printed with back paper on the reverse. There is a note on each page that requires this. Also, each panel comes with a name tag attached. Include this tag in your cut so that you may know which panel is required for the next step. You can cut that part once you are ready to glue the elements in place. To start, locate the door panel. We will want to match the front and back and glue them together. If you want to add some brads or fasteners, you may consider doing this before this step. We use two ring fasteners from Tim Holtz.
Now that the door is assembled, we can attach it to the back of the front panel. Next, pick up the main cover panel and score the middle spine on both sides. Repeat the same process with the interior cover panel. Using double-sided tape or glue, attach the front to the back.
glue the assembled door panel to the outside cover. Locate panel L1 and score the fold edges. We will glue this one on the left of the main panel. It will act as a pocket and have a folding side that opens up. We will now glue panel L2 to L1 and fold left. Use a vertical side pocket to cover the attachment strip.
Next, we will attach the right side. To do this, locate the right cover panel R1 and score the folding edge and spine. Glue the decorative image on top. We will now continue with the interior middle side. For this, we will locate the sliding panels and score them in the middle as well as the edge. If you want to create a closure system, consider doing so before gluing them back to back.
Use the clock circles, cut them out and glue them back to back. Determine where you want to place them and poke a hole through the panels as well as the circles. Position them in place using some brads. We can now glue the panels back to back and attach them to the folio. Place them in the middle section of your folio and glue one at the top and the other to the bottom side. Try to align them with the paper as best as possible. We will have another panel that will go in the middle, so you want to make sure it will fit. If it does not, you can just trim the edges. You can now glue the right side of the M2 panel right in the middle of the folio. Next, we will create decorative element that will go on the top of the middle flip panel. For this, you will need the M1 panel together with the four flip sides. Glue the sides back to back and attach them to the back of the panel.
we can now glue this down. For this section, there is also an image matching pocket. You can now glue this down. Locate the back panel and glue it to the back of the folio. This kit also comes with a mini notebook. To create it, cut and score all the pages just like so. To bind it together, you can either use a strip of ribbon, but for today's project we chose to use some brads to keep the pages in place.
There are different other elements that come with this kit, and you are more than welcome to get creative and use them in any way you like.
To finish of this project, we will add some ribbon to the door rings. We hope that you enjoyed this folio and had a lot of fun creating this project. Thank you so much for watching. Have fun crafting.